Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Renance of Three Kingdoms on the Mysterious JG. And we are on our way to attack the city of Non High. Yeah, that was what I was ordered to do. Oh. Okay, they just gave that city I took over to somebody else. Oh, the battle between Shi Grimoth's troop of Shi Grimoth's army and Dong Cheng groups of Cao Cao's army is in victory for Shi Grimoth. So that went differently from last time. Cao Cao's forces, like, sacked the city and took over. Looks like there are no forces here. Just kind of a surprise. So here's what I'm going to do, folks. If he lets me, I will take over as prefect of that city. And if he doesn't, I will attack some cities on the way back that he wasn't letting me attack before. Okay, oh, oh, oh. I'll take over this force, thank you. I've been trying to get him to take over Jiang on for a while. Liu Biao's force has failed to take one, so he's fighting Cao Cao and failing. Cao Cao uh, will be a real threat in the future. This is what you gotta do. Oh, he just gave Nan Hai over to Wang Yue Ying. He just refuses. He, I guess he doesn't want me to leave. He likes me. He wants me close at hand. But anyway, this was basically how I went about conquering southern China before. I got Sun Tzu's permission to attack one city. And once I had the army out and I had the had the reins, I started attacking all these places he said, now is not the proper time to attack. Because I want these cities. We're out of food though, so I need to get back. Otherwise I would attack even more cities. Used up all the food. Our non high is being attacked. Okay. So we're probably going to lose the city that I took over. My lord, the plot to assassinate Cao Cao has been discovered. What do you mean, the plot? Dong Cheng has been executed. You know, I think Dong Cheng was executed because he failed to defeat Shi Grimoth, but okay. The pact stamped by Alan Volv has been discovered as well. Liu Bei's name has been seen in the pact. I uh, see. It appears that war between Liu Bei's army and Cao Cao's army is inevitable. I am going to recommend that we save this city. They became our rivals because, of course, we took their city. Please order me to subdue Shi Ji's troop of Shi Ji's army. What? Dude, he's gonna he's gonna take over our city. All right. Oh, what if I attack this guy who killed your dad? <laughs> I don't know what Sun Tzu wants. He's a little conqueror, but he's not conquering anything. We got two units here and no prefect. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how Sun Tzu's, Tzu's mind works. It's like I just keep throwing out city names. Well, will you let me attack Ling Ling? Well, what about this city? Can I attack this city? This is how I managed to get him to, to let me out here before. I just took a small force to attack a city so that he wouldn't complain that I was taking too many troops. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like Yue Yang managed to hold her own. So good for her. Don't worry, honey. Once we take over this city, I'll be able to support you. Yes! Well, you can see I'm pretty quickly rebuilding the empire that we lost when I lost that footage. And obviously, taking cities will become much more difficult once I run out of all these unoccupied cities down here. The real problem is when is Sun Tzu gonna let me? Or Sun, Tzu, yeah, 
Sun Tzu gonna let me take over as Prefect. Yes! Ling Ling! That's what happened last time. He eventually let me take over Ling Ling. Now what this means, folks, is that we... Well, hold on. Well, there's more plot stuff to see. But this probably means we will not be able to see the, uh, the two Tiao's marriage event. Two Qiao's marriage events. So what I'm going to do is cheat a little. I'm going to show it to you from the menu. I'm just going to pretend that it happened. Because now that I've moved out of that city, I think it's not going to trigger. My lord, for having participated in the plot against Cao Cao, Liu Bei was attacked by Cao Cao's army. Both GAP and GLP and GAP have fallen. Guan Yu and most other officers are nowhere to be found. Only Liu Bei himself managed to reach Yuan Shao's army. Lord and subordinates, all scattered. What is to become of them? Surely Guan Yu will not become a major thorn in the side of Liu. Anyway, let me, uh... Let's save that state. Then I can quit. And let's just pretend that this triggered in-game. I'm not that happy with uh, Sun Tzu right now, which is a shame, because I really enjoy the Beavis and Butthead illusions that people made in the comments. That was a, like a take on them I hadn't really thought about, but what we're going to have to do is just... Let's just pretend that this actually happened in the game. It should have triggered by now, but it didn't. What's going on? It's not often that you two visit me together. We've come here today with an important and earnest request. I mean, we've come here today with an important and earnest request. <laughs> we would like to ask for the hands of your two daughters in marriage. Yeah, yeah. We request Mr. Takiao for Sunsu and Mr. Takiao for myself. <laughs> we believe these two would be excellent pairings. I can't keep doing this. What do you think? This is all so very sudden. My dears, how do you feel on the matter? Get them away from us, Daddy! I mean, oh my goodness. I... I don't think either of us knows what to say. Uh, they're just being modest. Says their father, I know neither of them has feelings for anyone else at the moment. And that's all that you need for marriage. <laughs> to not really want somebody else. And therefore, I agree to your request. Daddy, that's not what we meant. <laughs> really? Wow, thank you. We promised to take good care of your daughter, sir. <laughs> I've come to your world. I've come to your daughter. <laughs> we should return again to discuss arrangements for the ceremony and how huge of a dowry you will be giving us. I can't believe that went so well. I thought for sure he'd accuse us of being gay but showing him lovers. Apparently he doesn't. He didn't make the mistake JG made of doing an image search for Sun Tzu and Shou Yu on Google. I do believe we just got engaged to the most beautiful women in the world. When you're in love with a beautiful woman, it never ends. And I'll bet they're just as happy too to have us for their grooms. That's the wrong spelling of there, I'll show you. I can somehow hear that you spelled it wrong. Ha, that's that old conceit of yours. Ha, do we? A boy telling you the truth. You don't disagree, do you? No, they must be thrilled. Now that they're married, they get to be in the Dynasty Warriors games. Nobody would have heard of them otherwise. You'll hear no arguments from me. I think we're the hottest dudes ever. <laughs> Let's go make friends with Taishi Ha, 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 <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be so loud. I'm actually in a, visiting a family in the house here. Sun Tzu and Zhou Yu agreed to get married. I mean, separately. To, 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 to two different women. Springtime like warmth filled both of their hearts. And now we can go back to the game. And let's just pretend that actually happened. If it did, the only difference it would make in game is that uh, when I went to my home, uh, Jia Qiao might show up. And it would be Jia Qiao, not Qiao Jia, who was the created officer that the game now has. Here's the problem. I am now the prefect of a city, and I have no officers, and I don't have enough food to feed my units. So I need to go to the council. The first thing I need to do is go to council, and request transfer, destination Ling Ling. No, I can only give officers away. Ah, uh, crap, I'm in trouble. I can't request anyone to come work for me. What I had to do last time was I started, uh, focused on domestic improvement. Well, that's great. Are you going to give me some help here? A letter from Lord Sun Tzu has arrived. Hmm, says I should come visit more often. Very well. I just left, Sun Tzu. You're a codependent, man. 
My name is... You see, this... I was hoping for this. What I did last time is I just hired a couple of... I had to go out and hire officers myself. And I was lucky there were a few around. But basically, anybody I can find, I'm desperate for officers for this town. My name is Zhou Yu. I'm aware of your reputation. So, you're the famous master, Zhou Yu. Well, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, now I know for this. Damn it. He's not going to work for me. A friend of mine in Ling Ling said something about a ring ring. Do I even want this guy? Surrendered when... Okay. So he's... No, his, his stats aren't good at all, but he's got 51 in pole, so I can basically just make him, you know, improve farms. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, folks, but I got no choice. I've got to hire anybody I can find, because I've got nobody who's working in the city. I'm the only one who's going to be able to improve any of the city's stats. Get him up to friend. Yeah. And I said that right before it happened, so don't think that the sink is off. There we go. I can sign him to improve farm because our farm really needs to be improved badly since people are like starving and shit. Here's his, the workman. He's going to use gold to increase our defense. That's fine. Now, we've been taking cities pretty rapidly, so Sun Tzu, it might take a while before Sun Tzu's title catches up with what we, he, how many cities he actually runs. I can probably actually handle improving things by 40. The problem is going to be getting the, the, the repair work done fast enough. George Zhou Yu, Cao Cao's troop of Cao Cao's armies, was, has defeated a troop led by Wu Wan General. Man, I thought for a minute a Wu Wan General defeated Cao Cao, which would have been pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, he's sending me some support now. Zhao Kang and Top Hat Raptor. That will make a pretty big difference. But they apparently haven't actually arrived yet, so... Okay, here's a warrior. That's always good. Our Shou Chun is being attacked by Zhang Miao's troop of Cao Cao's army. Ah, oh, crap, Cao Cao's attacking. One Cao Cao's attack. So maybe it was a mistake. Uh, now, if, if he let me take over this city, I could probably def defend it. I would have immediately started recruiting archers. But there's no officers up there. We're going to lose that city. And we're going to be hostile at Cao Cao. So actually, maybe with hindsight, it was a mistake to have taken that city in the first place. Because it just forced the issue with Cao Cao. And um, now I'm down here. I can't really be bothered to go up there and take care of it personally. Was like immediately lost. Like that's not good. Okay, so I'm just gonna. At this point, I think I just need to make this city the best I can and and not concern myself unduly with the stuff that's outside of my control. But if you look at this, things are going south in a hurry. There's like a battle going on up here somewhere. I don't know if that's Cao Cao attacking us. I can't really tell. 
There's Top Hat Raptor just chilling out. He needs to get to work. Okay, I will deliberate. Okay, this is an example of one where I don't think anything useful happens from doing this. You just, ah, uh, is that so? You just lose fame if you don't do it, and if you do do it, you spend gold and time and don't lose fame. So screw that. Now I need to improve order, because our order is crap. And uh, low order means that we can get attacked by barbarians, which isn't that big of a deal. It also means that our gold and food intake is, gr is reduced, which is not good. Man, I spent 500 gold, and that's all, uh, all the improvement we got in Warber. <laughs> Meanwhile, Liu, Bia Liu Biao is actually doing some damage to uh, Cao Cao. Cao Cao appears to be attacking uh, Lu Jiang. Yeah, Cao Cao took these cities without us opposing him last time. Um in the videos that were lost. So now the fact that Cao Cao is already hostile to us, I'm thinking that was a mistake. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have attacked that city. Because I'm not up there to personally handle it. I could have I could have gotten into a long pro protracted defensive war against Cao Cao, trying to defend those cities with a couple of archers. I think I could have pulled it off. But uh it would have gotten pretty boring to watch. It would have been us like siege after siege, us constantly on defense. Meanwhile, orders improved, so that's good. I am here to inform you that a messenger has arrived from Sun Tzu. 15,000 or 1,500 gold has been presented to Zhuang Zhuji for exemplary service. This is wonderful. Sorry to keep you waiting. First, let's look at how everyone performed. Oh, Top Hat Raptor did pretty good. Master Top Hat Raptor, your commitment to our cause is beyond compare. You have my personal thanks. Oh, shucks! Now, let's leave the current state of the land. Yeah, these guys are definitely trying to take over a city. Shihai Yuan. At last, we have strengthened our footing, and it's time for us to strike even further out now. As for district policy, capture Wu Yu. Best improvement, assembly's over, you're all dismissed. You can just... Oh, you don't have very good intelligence. Sorry, just keep working on farm. Unless you can do something for order. No, your leader's crap. Farm is really all you can do. Ah. Uh, this is one that can, theoretically, improve your farmland significantly. It can also just cost you a lot of gold. Like it did there. Crap. I don't really want to spend money again after that fiasco. Yeah, they took that city. That was kind of to be expected. You're a spy from Yuan Shao's army. Curses. Last time I found a spy, it was from Gong Zhong Zan's army, which was like, really? Why are you spying on me? There's like three hostile armies between us. You really think I'd be the least of your worries, man. Here's Liu Biao's army spy. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, order's a lot better now. And our defense continues to go up, which is important. Lord Zhou Yu, it seems that Lord Top Hat Raptor has a proposal. Please order me to destroy the defenses at Jiang Jia. Normally, when they give me a, uh, when they ask for a specific assignment, I like to give it to them because I, it doesn't make a huge difference in the game. Conceptually, I like to pretend that I'm open to their ideas and giving them a chance to think creatively. But unfortunately, I have no intention of attacking that city anytime real soon, and I really don't have a lot of officers, so I sort of can't afford to do this. I'm gonna refuse. Which, you know, he's not gonna be real happy with me. I might go talk to him to improve our friendship level, because that kind of thing can actually be a problem after a while. And 
Now let me check and see if there's anybody that we can hire. Because I can now send other people out to try and hire officers. Jiao Chan is in Jiang'an. And he seems to think that Liu Du could actually hire Jiao Chan. I also saw Cao Nin, and he's in Ling Ling, which is here. Well, I can go hire, uh... Well, I can hire either of them, so... But I will send him after Jiao Chan. Master Liu Du, I order you to employ Mr. Xiao Chan. Of course I can. I'm the hottest dude ever. I can get super sexy chick to work for us. No problem. Meanwhile... Town in. <laughs> My name is Lord Zhou Yu. I'm very glad to meet you. <coughs> Master Cao Nin, serve my lord. Our army is in need of your strength. There's no reason for me to change sides now. It does make sense. Why would this, uh, this Cao Cao's baby suddenly join your force? No, I don't think I have anything to gain by wasting my precious first words on you. Oh, crap. Troops assigned to the infantry unit have deserted due to lack of food. The unit has been forced to disband. Shit! That's bad. I realized that we didn't seem to have enough food, but I thought that... Crap, I don't know. I was improving food every turn. I thought somehow we had a handle on that. Obviously, we didn't. Well, there we go, folks, and, and infantry is actually, that's a pretty big loss, because I don't have the facilities to make more infantry in this city. So that really, I really dropped the ball there. Where did the... I was too distracted by the concept of hiring baby. Getting a baby to work for me. So, I've grown closer with Top Hat Raptor, which is important because I totally ignored his uh, suggestion earlier. That guy still doesn't want to work for me. This also means I have no army at all in this city, which is a problem. Yeah, I continue to chat up with the baby. Dad, Dad, <laughs> what brings you here, Dad, Dad? Hey, I heard Luffy. The UP pants. <laughs> Just come work for me, you stupid baby. Mm, give me a while to think it over. Give me a couple of years to learn how to speak. Okay, he can probably get Jiao Chan to join us. I'm now I've got two officers trying to get her to join, but I figure if the left one don't get yet, then the right one will. I've grown much closer with this giant talking baby. Oh, here's a new officer, chilling out. No, oh, I must find the giant baby. No! No! Town in has escaped after him. He's in Kui Yang, I gotta go find him. He's a created officer, which means he'll be way overpowered, and I really need to get him my force. Where is he heading? Gui Nan? Don't want to like talk to him in the middle of the road because he'll disappear. Sorry, I'm not in the mood. And then he hits you with this bicky! Uh, now we're trusted. You trust me, little baby. You foolish child. Join my fucking force. God damn it, now, Nin. Nin, it is. It is your fault that our entire army starved to death. Well, they defected. They didn't starve to death. They basically abandoned uh, their posts. Which is not as 
I mean, gameplay-wise, it's just as bad as them all dying of starvation, but it makes me feel a little less bad to think that they just ditched because we weren't taking proper care of them. I was like, alright, that's my bad, I'll try not to do that again, but at least I didn't cost them all their lives. And sound in is going to work for me, which actually should be make a pretty big difference. I'll have a uh, created officer with much better stats than most of the people that I've been working with. Jiao Chan will also be a really big addition if I can get her. Alright. Top Hat Raptor, actual historical figure, sort of. I think Zhao King may not be. And, uh, baby. Go repair the gates. Yes, sir. I'm gonna ignore this guy. He called me a coward, but I don't care. Here's a Ah, now I will be able to hire a warrior. Hopefully this will be my infantry and it will be magic magically restored, because I don't have another unit for him to join. They just they created a horse unit from from the ether, but I don't have any food. Ah, this is not good. Why do you need to deposit? No, we've already got gold. Lord Jiao has succeeded in employing Mr. Xiao Chan. Excellent. Now I can go to the market and buy food. Something I never like to do. But at least this will allow me to feed my freaking army. I hope. Okay. So that's what I should have done a long time ago, but I didn't because I suck. You guys are just chilling out here. And who's at the blacksmith? Ah, this guy. Join us. you the difficult position will be, buddy. Be hanging over a vault of, of, you know, a bunch of boiling oil because you refused my polite offers to join. Oh, bastard. I just need all the officers I can get at this point. I know I always kind of act that way, but right now I've got a new fledgling city that I'm running with, like, no freaking army. Because I screwed up that score. There we go. Now Jiao Chan will be hanging out over here. Oh, he came back. He failed because I sent him to do... Um... You guys can increase order. Thank you, Jiao Chan. I'm the most beautiful woman in the history of the world. I'm going to go patrol for thieves. Could have been worse, honey. Jiang Gan appears to be worthless. Well, his intelligence isn't bad. His pull's okay. Let's get him working on the farm. I'm going to establish some units, because we've only got one unit here now. Costs a lot of money, but I'm going to get some bow units going so that we'll be able to defend ourselves. And I want to check and see if my food has turned red yet. Nope. So we should be good to establish another bow unit. Turned red yet? Nope. Let's establish another bow unit. So leave me with like no money. Yay, they came running for the great taste of Zhou Yu. Now I can go back here. Still need to improve defense by a lot. And order is a lot better than it was. Mistress Zhao Chan, go provide discipline. Wow, sexy. Okay. You guys can prove farming, because I'm now worried about that. And I will 
Ah, there we go. Hopefully this time will not be a big waste like last time. You... Ah, shouldn't have said that. Let's take about a third of the city's gold for my personal use. <laughs> she Grimmith's troop of She Grimmith's army has pulled a camp at Wujang Plains. units. We've got one horse, three bows, so let's get a foot unit going. I always like to have more bows than anything else because they've got that good ranged attack and um, they're great on defense. I don't think it'll let me recruit any more troops because we're only a small sized city. So now it's time to start building up those bow units. Okay, the things are continuing to improve, slowly but surely. This next set of officers going out and doing their jobs should get the repair to where um, it needs to be. I can get Jiao Chan to continue trying to keep our order in a good place. And these two guys who aren't really all that terribly useful, but they can at least work on the farm a little bit. Ah, this would be a good one. It uses 10 days, but it should increase order. Excellent. And this is good, too. The warrior dude shows up and he's like... Rrr. It appears that Ju Jun's unit troop of Tao Tao's army has failed its attempt to take Runan. I would love to be able to make peace with Cao Cao, because I really don't want to fight him until we're done dealing with Liu Biao. Oh, Zhou Yu, I brought a message from Lord Sun Tzu. It reads, well done on completing your city policy. He also told me he wanted me to visit, but I'm ignoring that. Okay, wasn't the most exciting video ever, but I finally got my own city. So let's call it a video here. And uh, just for the heck of it, let's save our game too. When we come back, folks, um, well, we're in, the game hits a little bit of a lull when you get your first city, because you kind of need to build it up before you're ready to strike out somewhere else. I want to get this city up to being an M-sized city. That's what I did last time in the, in the videos that were lost. I built it up to an M-sized city before moving to the front lines to start fighting Liu Biao. Things yeah, may have screwed this up, folks. I got Cao Cao as an enemy early. That was probably a strategic mistake. When I took that city, I was hope I was really hoping Sun Tzu would let me set up camp there, because I feel like I could have defended it. But the uh, computer, especially when there were no officers there, it was just units with no officers, obviously that was never going to work. When we come back, folks, well, things might cool off at Cao Cao. He might be too busy to worry about us at the moment. I'm definitely going to try to expand into the areas of least resistance to gain as much power as we can before we start messing with him. You'll see more of that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, folks. See you next time.